So guys, we got two baits and two baits only. We throwing swim baits, got them on the loose 300 with the eye rods. Got my rat here, the CL8, and got the two-face weight bait. Let's see what we can make happen. It's Hero Zero, baby. Let's catch some top water fish tonight. Oh. Oh. Got him, man. Got him, guys, on that two face weight. I watched him slurp that bait. He just slurped it, and it was go time. I don't know how I got him hooked in the bottom, but he sucked it in and everything. So guys, what happened with this fish was, we actually have this big section of bluegill beds down here. And this bass was just sitting there waiting for bluegills. I saw the bass on the outside, but I didn't see this particular bass. But man, great way to break in the two-faced waking gill. Yeah. All right, let's release this fish. First one on the two-faced weight. That was epic. Did, I, did it get off? Yep. That was a good one. That was a good one, because slurp. God. You don't want to make slurp the slow up here. Yeah. Perfect. 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 All right, y'all. I want to break down just a couple of things that was really important on this video. First off, bluegills are on bed. Now, whenever you have bluegills on bed, that is the perfect opportunity for bass to be nearby and just come up, eat a bluegill, then go right back to the depths. Many times they're actually sitting right outside the bluegill bed, or I've seen bass actually sit right beside a bed and just watch a bluegill waiting for it to come back in the bed and just eat it. Now, there's a couple other takeaways too. First off, we were fishing right before night and actually into night. A lot of times in these high pressured areas, bass will come out and eat at nighttime when the pressure is down and they don't have people around. Next, it was also just the perfect time to throw top water. Top water at nighttime could be phenomenal and right before nighttime. Now let's get into the bait. This is the Two Faced Weight Bait. This is a super cool buddy. <laughs> now let's get into the bait. This is the Two Faced Weight Bait. It's actually made by a good friend of mine called Steven. I'll put the link down below on where you can find this bait. Now, it's a couple of things that's different than most baits. First off, you can fish this bait extremely slow. It gives those bass a ton of time to see this bait. Next, the thing you may notice most of all is how wide this bait is. It is super wide. It's almost wide as my two fingers put together. Now, what that does is at those slow speeds, it disperses a whole lot of water. I mean, it creates a big V in the water as you're swimming along. Next, one of my favorite things to do, if you actually go back and watch the video, you see me do it. I swim this bait directly up to that bluegill bed and I actually pop it a couple times and this bait walks. It'll walk back and forth. And when it walks, it actually makes a splash, almost like a struggling bluegill. So you have the capabilities to fish it very slow and also crank it down if you want to. And then when you get to your primary area, you actually just can make it walk back and forth with a pop of the rod. So really cool lure guys. I foresee some big bass being caught in this bait, especially at nighttime and also right before night. And I actually chose this color just because uh, in my area, the bluegills get very black. Now, truthfully, one of his best colors is actually the crappy version. If you get a chance, check it out, guys. It's Two-Faced Weight Baits. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And hopefully I can bring some top water videos to you pretty soon. I love catching them on top and I'm still getting used to it too. So tight lines, you guys take care. And we'll see you in a video soon. All right, man, I'm gonna call it. This cast may give me a fish. 
This water down here is calm. Oh! Oh! That was not good. I wouldn't have been a happy customer at all. I was just talking about that. I need to retie that knot. When in doubt, retie it out. I should have retired. I got lucky as hell.